So, I saw a picture of the inside of somebody's server rack and it kind of inspired me to create this idea basically. And what it was is they had like a clothes hanger mounted on the inside of their rack that they could hang a cable or cord off of that they needed. And I realized I could do better than that. I mean, you could buy the adhesive based ones that use those little command strips and install something that's not permanent. But the thing is, what if you want to move it around? You know, it'd be nice to be able to reposition it if it gets in the way without having a sticky mess or having to unscrew it and then you have holes in your nice rack. So the parts you need for this are pretty simple. I stole this hard drive magnet. I have an old hard drive like this. I found that the Western digital hard drives are more likely to have these ones that are nice and flat because a lot of times they'll have like bent edges and stuff and you you can just cut them off but I'm lazy I don't want to do all that work and I have all the hard drives I want so yeah so this one came out of a little bit newer Western digital hard drive than I have here but it's basically the same thing the magnet's a little bit smaller on this one than I would like I don't really have anything for reference this is a piece of 12 gauge copper wire so you know it's not not the biggest magnet but luckily it's manageable. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a piece of painter's tape and I'm gonna put that over the magnet. And that's just purely to make it so the magnet doesn't scuff up the side of my rack. If you have a hard drive magnet with a bigger magnet on it, you might wanna put something a little thicker than painter's tape just so it doesn't stick as hard. So in this case here, just as an example, I mean, that sticks on fairly well. But, with a little careful prying, I can get it off. And the nice thing about these is they have holes for where they're mounted for being screwed down to the frame of the hard drive, which doesn't really need to be there anymore. But So I took a short piece of copper wire, and like I said, this is solid core, um, 12 gauge. And let's see here, yeah. So... Also, it's nice because it's copper. You can kind of wrap it yourself. It'd look nicer if I did it with a pair of nice needle nose pliers or whatever. But this is just for demonstration purposes, and honestly, it'll work just fine. So I'm taking the wire, kind of poking it through for the long piece on what used to be the bottom, but that's going to be the outside facing piece of the magnet. So I have the long piece coming out what I'm going to call the front, and then I have a little short piece coming out where the magnet is. And just kind of take it, fold it, and wrap it around like that. Doesn't need to be super sturdy, but just kind of good enough. So now I got two little dangling hooks and just stick it right on. And let's see, what do I have in here that's heavy? Um, this isn't particularly heavy, but <laughs> hang a fan. Oh, here we go. These are heavy. Got some heavy steel rack ears that came off of these AMX uh, control boxes. So, yeah, might be a pound of weight. I mean, it's not a lot, but I mean, it's kind of, oops, kind of keep piling on it there. There we go, threat to the hole in the fan. So that's probably at least a pound hanging off this little magnet. And, you know, it will slide down if I push on it, tap it, but this stuff's all set in your stationary. I'll show a side profile. That's what it looks like. So, yeah, you know, somewhere to hang your stuff. And I didn't grab a longer piece of wire, but since this 12 gauge is fairly rigid, another thing you can do is leave, like, a really long piece sticking out. Maybe, like, a, I don't know, maybe, uh, a foot long and you could wrap a wrap that piece of wire around a flashlight and then you'd have like a piece of wire hanging hanging your flashlight <laughs> poorly wording that there you, you could have your flashlight like hanging on the inside of the rack maybe pointed at something so yeah I don't know probably silly probably dumb idea but I thought that was kind of slick because well I have electrical wire sitting around everywhere that this is worthless to me otherwise, and have much hard drives that are in scrap bin. 
you could pretty much make a bunch of these for free. There's a lot of people that you know, don't care about the hard drives, or maybe uh, if you're friends with somebody at an e-waste facility like myself, then swing on by and ask nicely if you could take apart a few hard drives for the magnets. And if you don't have copper wire, you also could use some metal coat hangers. It'd be a lot harder to build, or build, yeah, build <laughs> um, twisting that, but that's what tools are for. So, yeah, hopefully that's interesting, and thanks for watching.